Ladies and gentlemen, it's Holy Joe Rock and Roll reporting to you live with some bad news to report. In the news today, Rodney King died of an apparent drowning as he was found by his fiance at the bottom of a pool. This is not a joke. Rodney King, who you may remember as the African American in Los Angeles who was brutally beaten by police when he refused to stop, and they chased him. When they got him, they beat his ass. It was videotaped and it caused quite a stir, stir in the nation and a discussion on race relations. Uh, a riot broke out. Other people, many people were injured and they reportedly a billion dollars in damage was done to the city of Los Angeles. Rodney King did come out and famously said, can't we all just get along? Rodney King was later awarded $3.8 million. Unfortunately, According to the reports that I received, most of the money went to his lawyers. And makes me rather angry that this man who was brutally beaten um, was finally compensated by the city of Los Angeles. And half, more than half of his money went to the lawyers. Normally, such lawyers who are ambulance chasers um, receive 33%, not more than half. So why they receive so much money is a bit of a mystery and an injustice to this man. Furthermore, and to not to make light of the matter, uh, even if you got mm, a lot of the $3.8 million, but not all of it, or not most of it, so let's say you've got one8 instead of uh, 3.8, um, almost $2 million, let's say one and a half. make it simple. If you got $1.5 million and you were to get close to 10% interest, on that money if you invested it wisely, um, that would be $150,000 gross, minus the 15% uh, dividend rate, which I'm sure he would, would, would have been invested. You know, he would receive roughly, this is in round numbers, let's say $100,000. Assuming that he's a single man living anywhere in the United States on $100,000 a year, without a drug problem and without a drinking problem, would be quite set, would be set for life, you would think. But the reports go on to say that he repeatedly was had run-ins with the law, being arrested for drunk driving, uh, having drug and alcohol problems, having gone to rehab multiple times. It's really a sad story, a sad commentary on a man who you might say didn't have the best of luck, uh, perhaps didn't have the best opportunities in the United States of America, who was beaten, quite literally, beaten down, but then was rewarded, in a sense, by the courts because he was beaten unfairly. Um, but then to, to have this happen to him, it's really a sad commentary on people not taking responsibility and not being able to manage their money. I mean, if the man, Rodney King, would have spent a couple hundred dollars and maybe one or two summers at the YMCA, he could have learned how to swim. Or if he would have gone to Walmart, he could have got those, you know, those inflatable floats for your arms. What do they cost? Five, ten dollars? And he definitely would not have sunk. Um, apparently he was in an indoor pool, a private pool. I don't think anybody would have laughed at him. Um, this was a big man, a powerful man. Uh, you're not going to laugh at him for wearing floats. Hey, if he needs to learn how to swim, that's the best way. And I would recommend anyone who is afraid to swim or has trouble swimming, just get those floats like the kids wear. You'll float. It'll help you float and give you confidence to practice swimming. Well, on that note, I would like to close and say rest in peace, Rodney King. Reporting to you live from Krakow, this is Holy Joe Rock and Roll.